Laura, you okay? Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Laura. Don't do anything crazy. The younger Croft is more active and less cerebral than her father was. Although intelligent, she is less focused on the meaning and history of the artifacts she seeks and more prone to risk-taking. With no children or family of her own, she is free to pursue her targets, almost to the point of obsession. Although this can make her appear impulsive or unpredictable at times, we believe her drive and the balance of her personality will make her easier to influence with the promise of greater challenge and more likely to deliver results. <sighs> Any information she might have that Richard Croft withheld from Trinity would simply be a bonus. We recommend her as a strong target for recruiting. Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Because Commander Rourke said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smartass. But you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the recon team gets here, maybe they'll be able to tell us something. After action report. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Search site, Mazaruni River, Guyana. 5.816587-59.468158. Discovered evidence of Maya migration. Upon subsequent investigation, site deemed a dead end. Actions taken. Site flooded by redirecting river. Locals recruited for labor eliminated. All trace of presence scrubbed. Other. Kick up at nearby village. Lethal response necessary. Area isolated. Site flooded. Appears natural. South American rivers rising due to climate change story seeded in media. Achieved lockdown. We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Work out.
We shouldn't assume the worst. It might be okay. Shouldn't we send someone down to look for them? Rourke was explicit. No search and rescue until the recon team gets... Great. Gotta be something to find. You, take point. Better look at that. Let's have a look around. On search, copy that. Area looks clean. Can't have gotten too far. Okay, perimeter's locked down. All we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in a known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. Those were good men. Are. They are good men. What do you think happened down there? We're securing the site. Obviously somebody thinks they got attacked. By what? There's nothing down there. You sure? We were searching for something. Maybe they found it, and it wasn't what we thought. God damn it. Wall collapse. They went down too deep. All kinds of reasons for losing contact. Hang on. Checking now. We're taking casualties. Fucking bastards. Oh shit. I better look around. Mm-hmm. Ready to engage. Let's get this done. Hold in. Hostile spotted. Coming over here! It's Croc! Where'd you go? Ah! You're not gonna change anything, you know that, right? Get 
Jonah, Commander Walk is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. been a bloodbath here. What happened? Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Possible entry point located for temple outside of Kuakyaku. Excavation equipment en route. Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. <gasps> From death to life, new moon to full, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. match the symbols. The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Ishal on the left, Shakshal on the right. be able to open these doors.
two dates here, and East Shelf. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. In the Maya Long Count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. The last number of the left pillar should be a zero. Okay, Jonah, what's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks. Balam is the Maya word for jaguar. The Maya idolized jaguars for their majestic beauty and dangerous grace. Villagers would have four akantuns, idols which they placed at each corner of the village. At night, five Balams, spirit jaguar guardians, would come to the village. One Balam would station itself at each corner, next to an akantun, while the fifth and smallest Balam would coordinate their protection efforts against evil demons and spirits. <laughs> 